Now, you may also want to create custom wall frames from time to time. And one of the things that Grassoft has done is they've added in um, into our new curtain wall tool here, a, an ability for us to do profile frames. If you've not done this before, this is a really nice uh, option in ArchiCAD because it allows us to create our own custom profiled frames to use as well as profiled caps. And so you can have a profiled frame and then you can have your, your frame type, and your cap type right here and have them come together. The way that we create this is by first going to our options menu, going to the complex profiles and profile manager, typing in that we want to do my curtain wall frame or whatever name you want to give that. And basically you click this little button right here to create a new profile. Once you do that, uh, it's going to create a new window called my curtain wall frame. You would then, you would then go in and draw the shape of the frame that you want to use or create. So you may go, you might go to a manufacturer's website. Uh, they have a certain design. You want to bring that design into ArchiCAD and then uh, extrude that into frames. And so you bring that in as an outline of lines, and then you can create uh, using your fill tool here. You can create an outline of this uh, based upon whatever design you're trying to create. And your fill tool is what you want to use to create that with. Fills is what's used to in the profile in profiles in order to create extrusions. So you can use the lines as guides and then you use the fill to actually create that shape. And then you want to assign it material as well. Oh, before I tell you about that, make sure you also pay attention to your uh, origin here. You want that origin to be at the edge, like if this is the edge of the glass here, then I want it to be up just slightly here, right, right that edge right there, so that the um, glass snaps right into that. Then uh, you want to uh, assign a material to your fill. So to do that, you click on the edge of the fill, and in your um, uh, pet palette here, you're going to select this, this far right button here. That button will then open up what's called custom edge settings. And then you want to basically click uh, the material, go select the material you want, and then either have it apply just to that clicked edge only, or if you click this button, it'll say to all edges. So in this case, I probably would go all edges, but you could define uh, that accordingly based on what your needs are. Oh, one more thing. Also, make sure to assign that to an object because this, if you want this to be available as a curtain wall element, a, a profile uh, frame in the curtain wall tool, then you, just, you need to make sure to click this button. Otherwise, it will not appear there. Once you do that, you open up your curtain wall tool. You uh, go to mullion frame or transom frame, click profile frame. Go to profile frame, or actually click this button and select profile frame. And then you want to select my curtain wall frame. That's this button right there. And then that will allow you to, in fact, when you click this, it's probably going to default to some other uh, uh, profile. And you'll want to go scroll up and find your curtain wall frame that you created and select that. <clears throat> and then once you've done that, you probably also want to select a cap type. Uh, this is just the the default one in ArchiCAD, you'd probably want to create a custom cap type for whichever type of um, uh, system that you, you're working with. You also want to set the depth and width for the panel inset. That's this, these options right there. Okay, so you want to make sure to, to look at that. And finally, you want to make sure that you take uh, and, and repeat those steps for each of the corner the boundary, the mullion, and the transom frame. So all four of those frames, you need to make sure to go through and set the same, assuming that you want the same uh, uh, type of mullion frame for each of those, um, or sorry, type of frame for each of those, because if you don't, then you'll have different you know, shape frames and different sizes and different offsets and insets, et cetera. So you just want to make sure that you, you repeat that say, those same steps for every frame that you have so that those are consistent. Once you've done that, click OK. And then you can start to draw your curtain wall design. 
Once you've done that, you'll see that the frames start to appear at the intersections and they'll appear in 3D as well. And so this is the nice thing about uh, this process is it gives us this ability to create a very custom system that we can use and, and then to have that appear as part of our model. And that is our tip of the week.